As we begin to explore the Screaming Frog interface, let's talk about some of the different navigation items. So first we've got the top navigation, which has a number of choices. First under File, we have basic functions where we can open old projects and save our project. Under Configuration, we've got all the different configuration menu items, and we'll discuss some of these in the future. But these help us configure the spider and create some custom connections. Under Mode, we have some different crawling modes, some different exports, various different canned reports, which we'll go over in future lessons, the ability to add our license key, and the help section. And just under the main navigation, it's important, important to note that this is where we enter the domain which we want to crawl. So for our example, I'm going to crawl this particular domain and simply hit the Start button. And as you'll notice, data will begin to fill in the fields below. Now the next navigation item we want to look at is the Reports navigation, and this is just below the main navigation. You can see each of these tabs represents a different report. So we've got an internal report, an external report, reports that look at heading tags and keywords and protocol. So a number of different reports which we're going to cover in the future. Simply clicking on each one takes you to that report. Now the third navigation which is really important is called the detail navigation. So as we click on any item within a report, and each item represents a URL, down below here you're going to see a number of detailed details related to that item. So we get information about the URL itself, the status code, title tag, etc. So we scroll down, we have a ton of data. We can jump over to inlinks, and this will tell us what other URLs in this domain link to this URL. Outlinks helps us understand which URLs this URL is linking to. Image info gives us data about images which live on this URL. And then our SERP snippet just gives us a sample of what a search engine result page might look like for this URL. And it pulls in the title tag, meta description, and the URL itself. So these are some of the basic um, features of the detailed navigation. And the final navigation off to the right here is called the side navigation. Now the side navigation is, just allows us to really jump in between different reports. So as we click on some of these different items, you can see I'm clicking on internal. You'll see the internal report appear to the left here jump over to external, I get the external report. You can see that the tab changed up here. And then I can actually jump into some of the different filters. So within the internal report I could look at only HTML files or JavaScript files or CSS and the list will go on. So these are some of the basic navigation items that you want to consider when looking at Screaming Frog. In the next lesson we'll talk more about the anatomy of a report.